Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how I convert um, a worksheet into a Google form. Um, this particular worksheet is um, a Word document, um, but it could equally be a, a PDF or perhaps a scanned document. Um, this Word document has um, text information. Um, so here's some text information. It has um, questions and it has diagrams. Um, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, capture the blocks of text and the diagrams, um, excluding the questions. I'm going to use a tool called Grab on my iMac, um, and this is similar to the snipping tool um, in Windows. Um, so here I go and get that tool, and then I can start capturing um, blocks of text and diagrams. So here I go, <coughs> select this block of text, and we'll save that um, in a file. Okay, and then I'm going to select this um, block of text down here with the diagram in it. So again, capture that and save it. And I just go through um, the document just capturing all the bits of text that I need, um, excluding the questions. Okay, so the next thing I do is I go to my Google Drive and I am going to make a new Google Form. So if you go to New and go to More, there's your Google Form. Select that. Okay, and then we're going to give this a name. So, one point two point one work and energy. Um, okay, and then we'll give this. Okay, so we've got that same name. And first thing I like to do is to um, make sure that I'm going to collect student emails um, because I need to know who's handed work in. So I go to the settings icon up here and I click on collect email addresses and save that. And then you can see that the first thing that the student is going to need to enter is going to be their email address so I know who's done the work. Uh, you may also like to uh, maybe collect um, student names. Okay, so I'm going to put a um, question here, student name and I'm going to make that a short answer and I'm going to make it required so the student has to do have to put their name in as well. So now I'm ready to start assembling my Google Form quiz. Okay so if we go to our original document the the first bit is a block of text okay which I took a picture of so we can insert that so after this uh, introduction here um, we're going to put add an image, this icon here, and I'm going to browse and I'm going to choose my first image, which is that block of text. Okay, and then it puts it in there. And then if we go to our document, the next bit is a question, my first question. I'm going to select that, just the text from that, copy it, and, and then after this I'm going to put my question in. So you choose this icon, add question, and so my question number one, paste it in there. Um, now it's a fairly straightforward question with I can I can make up um, several answers so I could have a multiple choice. Um, there's other options as well. Um, we could have a maybe a drop down. I'll choose a drop down for this one, and then I can put my options in here. Okay, so let's the correct answer is uh, newton meters. Um, let's put some incorrect answers. Um, Newton per meter. And perhaps meter per Newton. Um, okay, and make this required. The students have to answer it. Um, 
You might also like to um, make this a self-assessing um, quiz. So to do that, you go to this settings icon and go click on quizzes and make this a quiz. Save. Um, and then that allows you to um, assign um, points to the answers. So if you click on answer key here, and the correct answer was uh, this first one here. And I've assigned that that is one, one mark. They get that right. And then click on done. Okay, if we go back to our original documents, the next bit is a, uh, a diagram uh, with a, some text, okay, which took a picture of. So we need to include that. So the next thing is to add an image. And we go to our second image. Okay, inserts that. And then, um, okay, so under this block, we're going to have a, have a look what comes next. We have a question, so I'm going to select question number two and insert that as a question. Um, if someone's pushing the block, uh, where's the energy come from? I'm going to make this um, not a multiple choice, but I'm going to make it into just a um, a wordy answer. Now, a short answer is like two or three words. They might need a little bit longer to answer this particular question, so I'm going to make this into a paragraph. Again, I'm going to make it required. Uh, all the questions in this quiz are going to be required answers. Um, and you just go um, down through your document just doing this, pasting in your images um, from your original document, and then um, inserting questions as you go along. So this is my complete quiz. Um, I've jazzed it up a little bit, um, so I've changed by clicking on this icon here. Um, you can change the colour and I've put a, an image at the top here. Um, now, so I can just show you what the quiz looks like with all the questions inserted and the blocks of text. Um, we can see what, uh, by clicking on this icon preview, we can see what uh, the students are going to see. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the questions. This is what it looks like to the student. Okay, and once they've gone through and clicked on answers, then they can submit their answers. And what you will see um, is you will see as students respond and submit their answers, their answers will come in to this um, tab here and you'll see all the answers um, come in. Um, you can also see the answers in a spreadsheet if you click on this icon, icon here. Um, it, creates, <coughs> it will create a spreadsheet in your Google, uh, Google Drive with all the student responses. So we've got uh, three students responded here and their answers to each of the questions all in a spreadsheet. There. Um, just a quick word about how you share your Google Form once you've made it. If you click on this send icon at the top here there are various ways of sharing it. So this first one is via email. Um, this one you can, there's a, a link which you can share and you can do that um, via email or text or um, on a website. Uh, here you can actually embed it on a website. Okay, so it's very straightforward.